Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to write sets in set builder notation. Set builder notation appears like this where you have the set A is the set of all elements X. This line right here is read as such that these conditions apply. So the conditions change from problem to problem, um, but to write it in set no builder notation, this is what it should look like. Um, so I have a couple of examples here. The first one that we have is we're going to write set A um, in set builder notation. So set A is the set of all natural numbers. So remember that um, if we're using this, let me grab a different color. That'll make it a little bit easier to see. Um, natural numbers, remember that anytime you see this, um, you would use a capital N to represent the natural numbers. And it is important that if you're talking about the natural numbers that it, that is included in your answer. So we would say A is the set, so we would use set notation of elements X. X just represents any value that fits this criteria. You could use other um, values here, like in algebra a lot of times we'll use Y if we're talking about the Y axis, but um, the default is X if you don't have any other stipulations. So set A is the set of all values X such that between what we do is we write X um, greater than or equal to the lowest value because I'm reading it backwards, or you could say one is less than or equal to X, and then um, also less than or equal to 10 because it's inclusive that's why I drew the line underneath it if it did not include it then we would not have this line underneath we would just write it as 1 um, less than x less than 10 or you could read it as x is between 1 and 10 inclusive that's how you would read this and we also have to say that x has to be an element of n so whenever you see this notation, sorry, I went a little crazy with that set. Um, anytime you see this notation right here, this is just read as an element. Okay, so this is the notation that we use to represent an element of a set. And the last one, or sorry, we've got two more. Um, the next one that we have is set B is the set. Um, this is in roster form, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we would just write B equals, and we would use our notation X such that um, there's two ways that you could write this particular one. You can say that it's greater than or equal to three and less than or equal to eight. And because it's a whole numbers, you could either say that it's the set of values that are in the whole numbers, or you could use int positive integers, or because it's between three and eight, you could say it's an integer. Um, it's also a natural number, so there's a lot of different ways that you could write this. I'm gonna write it as X is an element of N, just because it is contained in the natural numbers since they're all whole numbers. Um, the other way that would have also been acceptable to write this one is you could have written it as B is X such that X is greater than two but less than nine and X is an element of the natural numbers. So um, two and nine means that it doesn't include two and nine, it's just everything in between two and nine and also the set of all natural numbers. And the last one that I have this time, this really is the last one, um, set C is the set of all days in the weekend in the U.S. So you can write um, verbal descriptions of sets in set notation. So we would just say that C equals the set of elements X such that um, X is Saturday. or Sunday, because those are the weekends in the United States. Okay, um, so with this, just remember that in order to write it in set notation, you do have to have the brackets and X such that, and then whatever conditions must be met. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you'd let me, like me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.